It's coming in one day. Yeah, one day, right? Yeah, I hope it's one day. You know it's one day, huh? Yeah, because uh, if it's one day, you should be good. Well, it should be one day, it's good. Yeah, I like that, too. Okay. So, um, it looks like, um, it looks like, um, we're gonna have Guardians of the Galaxy on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray coming soon, right? Yeah, I hope Guardians of the Galaxy first season will be coming out on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, right? Yeah, it's on, um, it's on home video releases. Good. Well, it looks like, um, we're gonna have to, uh, turn off anyway, right? Yeah, we're gonna turn off. Okay. So, um, we'll start by, um, uh, something so we can go for one day. Yeah, one day, huh? Let's take up a look upon, um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 first. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I miss so much. Good. Okay, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol 3. Hey! What did you say? Nothing. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, what's that? What's that? Um, it's like 17 hours. James Green says Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 took a euro to write. Hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy and Marvel Star says Universal write it itself after. Hmm. Let's take a look. Yeah, with sound, right? I don't know what sounds or not. Hmm. Let's see. Turn it down a bit. Turn it down. Where is it? Where is it? What? I know. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Let's just exit that. Okay. With most of the behind the scenes drama behind him, filmmaker James Goon has been opening up about the process of movie making once again with the, his latest interesting in in it in it dot being that it took him nearly a year to write the script for Guardians of Galaxy One Three, the trajectory of previous series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe have typ have typically seen a hero get three films, like Iron Man or Captain America, before a team up film allows the characters to leave the narrative behind. While it hasn't been confirmed that the next Guardians of the Galaxy will be the final installment, the next film could bring some closure to these characters. Wait a minute! What did they say? I oh, know. I just said, said about something I heard of. Okay. I don't know what it is. Okay. Anyway, when a fan asked a, a filmmaker about his process of writing scripts on, on a post about the Suicide Squad, Goon confirmed. The one who was short, a few months, the Guardians 3 will took a year. The specials took a week and Super took maybe three weeks. It's always different. Having written, written, and directed the first two films in the franchise. The series, this series, is clearly quite close to the filmmaker's heart, likely posing a number of complications and not only logistically closing out the trilogy, but with, with his own connection to the characters potentially making it an emotional process of saying goodbye to them. This film being in the end of the line for Star-Lord, Gamora, and the rest of the crew is only speculation, though Thor is the first character to get a four solo films. Whatever the upcoming adventure might be for the, for the characters, fans are thrilled to see Goon back in the director's chair, following up scene jokes he made earlier in his career surfacing, resurfacing last year. Disney and Marvel Studios cut ties with the filmmaker. Various reports confirmed that June that Goon that Goon's script would be would still be used, though the studio failed to find a filmmaker to bring the end over and the over war to life, leading it leading it leading to it being pulled off its release late and delayed indefinitely. After months of limbo, Marvel Studios confirmed earlier this year that Goon would return to direct once he had fulfilled his obligations to Warner Brothers with his new Suicide Squad. Wow, that's pretty good. And um, stay tuned for details on Guardians of Galaxy 1-3. 
Other upcoming Marvel Studios projects include Black, Black Widow in May 1st, 2020, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier in Fall 2020, The Internals in November 6, 2020, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings in February 12, 2021, One Division in Spring 2021, Loki in Spring 2021, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness in May 7th, 2021, What If in Summer 2021, Hawkeye in Fall 2021, and Thor Love and Thunder in on November 5th, 2021. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, there's like projects in this Phase 4. Wow. And they're going to be Phase 5 over at Guardians of the Galaxy Phone 3? Well, there's going to be a Phase 4 for the upcoming film. So, Black Widow, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and um, what else? Um, the Eternals? Yeah, the Eternals. Okay, um, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings? Yeah. And we have, um, what do we have called? I don't know what we have called, um, we have, um, One Division. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's turn off anyway, okay? Okay, good.